Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. I'm very much learning the Apache at the moment and I've just discovered the vid page. The vid page can be used from left and or right MPD in either cockpit. We access it by clicking on the vid button. In essence, what it does is allow us to display the feed from a sensor on either of these screens as an underlay while we do other operations on the screens. And it's really useful, I found. So the main function is underlay here. Which feed do we want to show as the underlay? No video, which I guess should really be our default. Pilot's helmet mounted display, pilot's selected sight, co-pilot's helmet mounted display, co-pilot selected sight or the TAD sensor. So let's start with pilot helmet mounted display. Currently no feed because we don't have a sensor linked to our helmet mounted display. Uh, so let's do that. This switch here allows us to link our default night vision sensor, which is going to be our pin vis, I believe, to our helmet, helmet mounted display ping. And you can see now we're getting the feed from the pin vis. Note we can do different sensors on different screens at the same time. Also, we could force that sensor into a bore sighted position, no longer following my helmet. Let's put that back. Uh, the pilot sight, this currently no feed, is the feed from our currently selected sight sensor. So it's an invalid one at the moment. And if we were to press, for instance, sight, select, switch up, selecting our HMD as our selected sight, then ping. Then we've got, again, the feed from our pin vis guided via our helmet mounted display. And in case I forgot to say at the beginning, obviously I've removed my IHADS IP symbology by pressing I, put it back on there and remove it by pressing I. Let's shift over to our right screen, shall we, for the Copilot. Copilot, HMD feed, ping, nothing at the moment. All right, let's go and repeat the operation into the Copilot seat, remove his lovely body. Same thing, link his default night vision sensor to his helmet and back in the rear cockpit. So I'm now looking, that's what I'm looking with my helmet mounted display and that's what the co-pilot's looking at and he's very depressingly looking forward and down a bit. Uh, his sight again, which is probably gonna be defaulted, yep, to his HMD uh, and that just leaves TADS. If I do TADS here, and um, disappointingly it's in the same direction so we'll need to do something with that. So if I bring up the co-pilot menu with left control and victor and i george helper left to select a weapon and i put my eyepiece back on and i can turn that symbology off and i aim somewhere let's say there and george helper up asking him to slew his sensor in that direction tdac unavailable whoops okay so let's just hop back into the front and let's just put that back to off Back to the rear, try again. George Helper, already got the gun selected. Move our helmet there. George Helper up. Slaving, he's now slaving his sensors. And there you can see now the TADS feed is where I asked him to slave his sensor. Okay, let's look at some other functions. So we can change the aspect of the raster display. Widescreen, no idea where you would want that. Normal or slightly zoomed in back to normal the sharpness or the blurriness blurry sharp the color do you want it white scale or do you want it green scale uh, video will just take you back to the main menu uh, back there symbology brightness do you want it normal or do you want it boosted what that actually means is you're boosting the symbology around it by making the actual raster image darker reset if you want to just reset everything to the to its default configuration let's put that back there grayscale i've never really understood what a grayscale is they always have them in these old uh, kind of ccd screens but it shows different levels of gray for you to compare to the image and again if you understand grayscales please let me know um i suppose the main important thing i've for actually forgotten to show which is that we can do other things with this imagery up so let me just show that off if i put my helmet mounted sight back on ping so with this imagery in the background, we can now go and use our fire control radar or set our weapons up or can't do the TSD. That won't work because that will take the whole screen. But we could 
uh, look at our aircraft details and so on uh, let's get back to the vid screens vid screens right one more option and that is the video select option uh, it's that button there it's dynamic so in this case it's co-pilot based in this one it's pilot based what that allows us to do is change how everything is displayed so we still retain the underlay and we still retain the aspect screen aspect options and the sharpness but everything else is removed and it now shows symbology relevant to the pilot uh, which is the same symbology as ping if we have our eyepiece on um, our speed and our heading and our stuff like that and the same thing is relevant but for the co-pilot so um, if we press that there with relevance to tads it's now showing the co-pilot's display uh, and i think that's our lot for vid page just a really useful page to be able to configure and have whichever sensor raster image we want while using the mpds for other functions i hope that was useful and bye bye